Good morning, YouTube. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm back here at the old St. Nicholas Breaker where Chris and I did a two, one or two videos, plus I did a video of this old power station. You can definitely see it a lot better with all the leaves off the trees. The remnants of what was. And right across the way is where the, they're doing all of that mining. That's Blast Shack Coal Company or who? But yeah, I wanted to come back and revisit the, uh, the old power station. Take another look at it. Uh, they can see it a lot better. It's a cold day today. Ooh, I'm freezing. I have my warmer jacket in the car. There's these posts again. It's a very dreary day. There's a water tank way up there that I wanted to hike to a while back, but it was kind of woodsy. But now you can see the old water tank there a lot easier than before. Not much left here. Said right next door to this was that old school that they tore down. And here's this big hill going up towards the water tank. <laughs> Whew, wish it was warmer out here. Whew. Hands are getting cold holding this camera. Right then there's Route 54 going to uh, Chendo, as they say. 462. <laughs> That's a big local joke around here. I can't say the rest of it on YouTube because it's uh, <laughs> it's bad. But yeah. That's the saying. Where are you from? I'm from 462. What the? You know. <laughs> you could fill in the missing word. Uh-oh, what do we got here? That don't look good. Got a wire down it. Ah. Uh, oh, dude. That wasn't here the last time I was here. I don't want to get anywhere near it. Whew. No way. Yeah, no way. Uh-uh. That thing's carrying any kind of juice. Getting near it is just could be deadly. I did want to go up to the water tank today, but not with that down power line. I'm sorry. Uh-uh. But there's the, there's the tank. And yeah, we'll have to visit it again some other time. Yeah, definitely don't want to get juiced here. Especially on Thanksgiving. That would suck, huh? So, well, that, that's going to end this adventure. Right then and there. I'll see uh, what else I can find around here. Uh, let me give you a zoom in of the mine workings up there. there. I don't know if that's Blast Shack Coal Company that's running that operation up there. I believe it is, but... It's his... his uh, his uh, coal uh, distribution center is nearby there with signs on it. Yeah, I believe that's Blast Check Coal Company. Uh, yeah, it's a cold day today, guys. Whew, I don't like it. It's very damp. Like the humidity's high. Well, it rained last night, too. I came home from work around 9 p.m. I got out early. And uh, I've got a nice four-day weekend now to be off. But uh, I'll see what kind of an explorers I could do since I got four days. There's the, there's the car.
I'm seeing some kind of a concrete structure up there. I don't know what the heck that was for. Let me zoom in on that. I never took notice to that before. Let's check it out. Yeah, right there. I don't know what that was for. Well, the breaker was right here. They ripped it down, of course. You could. There's a few people that have videos of it up. Uh, I believe Chris Cracker, the coal cracker, also has a video of it up. He, he might even have a drone footage of it up when it was still in existence. But yeah, uh, and like I said, here's the here's the remnants of that old school that used to be here. You even have the road paved here, but you can go up by it. But, oh well, that water tank's going to have to wait for another day. I can't get up to it because of that down power line. I'm not going to take my chances and get killed or anything like that. I said, especially on Thanksgiving, so. Let's see what else we can find and uh, shut you off for now, and we'll talk to you later. I'm guessing there was a big tank here. Seeing like it's like a double wall right here. I don't watch where I step here. Whoa. Yeah, this looks like there used to be a big tank here. This is just right above the St. Nicholas Breakery. Baker? Yeah, bakery, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, bakery. No, breaker. Yeah. <laughs> bakery. What the hell's the matter with me? And then in the center we got something cool. What the hell is that? Some kind of pipe. Let's get all busted up and shit. And right in the center, it's sticking straight up, and it looks like the top is busted off. Well, if this was a holding tank, <clears throat> I mean, I see all these clamps. There's all these clamps right here on the that line the whole wall. Like I said it's it's double walled, which is weird. Kind of a strange construction. I don't know why it would be double walled, but it is. Oh, oh it's only a rabbit. <laughs> it scared me. <laughs> Another rush. Yeah, you can see the double wall right there. Got a jogger here coming up the road. I'm bother him. I don't even know if he sees me. Yeah, so this must have been there. Maybe a big water tank. You can another look at that pipe thing in the middle. A clearer shot. Yeah, that's cool. Can't get near it though. It's all swampy in there. I definitely don't want to go down in there. And it's just quite a drop too. I mean, it, it drops down a good, I don't know, I would say 8, 10 feet right here. Like I said, it's just this big round tank thing that surrounds this area. Again, with the double wall. I wanted to go further this way, but that's all sticker bushes. The hell with that. I ain't getting... I got ripped up earlier with some stickers. I don't want any more today. They're nasty, even in the winter. Yeah, so I guess their water tank used to sit here at one time. Uh, it's a lot easier walking through here now that everything's defoiled. But then again, you can see some of the coal mining operations up there. Yeah, that way. Pretty cool. You see all the knotweed? <laughs> it's all. It's all dried out now. You just break it like nothing. It just snaps off like twigs. So, what the heck is this thing? A acetylene tank or what? Oh, that's heavy. That is heavy. Whoa. Oh, it's, it's a roller. No oh, shoot. Yeah, it's a conveyor roller. 
and one of the roller bearings. That's neat. I thought it was a small acetylene tank at first, but no, it's a it's a conveyor roller. What's left of it? Not too much. So I guess there was a conveyor somewhere nearby here. I see all this other metal junk laying here. I don't know what we got here. One roller, one free roller for anybody who wants to lug it out of the woods. Not me. Definitely not me. Yeah. Freaking knotweed. This stuff is nasty. I see some busted up concrete here and that here, too. Well, let's see if we can find anything else. More in a bit, as I say. Well, I'm at another spot about just north of the St. Nicholas Breaker. I see an old pole here in the woods. Some insulators are still on it. I think I found the place where the water tanks were. I'll show you that in a moment. Then, if you remember, I don't know if you've seen that video with Chris and I, uh, the pipe hangers when we did the St. Nicholas Breaker Part 2. Okay, here's some of these pipe hangers that supported water pipe. But I'm looking right over here, and I absolutely see where they had the water tanks. I recognize this from doing that other breaker video. You can see how they're rounded. And then there's all the pipes there too. That fed the tanks with water or drained the tanks from with water. I don't know. But yeah, you can see all the old pipes here and stuff. Oh, excuse me. Let me get this zoom back off. I'm going to get just dizzy. <laughs> I'm dizzy. I'm dizzy for being out here in the wet woods with stickers and everything else. But yeah, here's a... Yeah, here's some valves. There's a valve there. Yeah, they had them capped. So they have two valve housings here. I said there's a valve here. And here's all the concrete that held the tanks. You can see there's some of them are rounded. There's even some uh, track in, in the one over there. <laughs> Let me see if I can get a better shot of that. So it's not easy walking in here. Woods are all wet and slipping. These leaves are slippery like ice. Yeah, right there you can see some of the track that was formed into the concrete. See it? Yeah, so this must have been where the water tanks were. That's cool. A lot of beer bottles here. Wow. I mean... It, yeah, everywhere I look, I'm seeing bottles, bottles and bottles, tons of bottles. I thought I saw something over here that looked buried. I don't know. You got to be careful. I don't find a shaft or anything like that, which I, I definitely don't want to fall into. But right here, oh no, maybe that's just a tree. Either a tree or a timber. I'm not sure here what we got. Yeah, we got our stickers. Hmm. I don't know what that was for. I see water running over there. But look at this large. It's almost like a lookout post. See that? I wonder what that was for. And then down below here we got water running. I don't know if I can get it. Get it in the video here. I can't really see it from this viewfinder. Oh there it is. Yeah, right there we got water running. And then I see they have all of this fenced in here. Yeah, this whole area is kind of fenced off. Again, I, you can't see this kind of stuff when the woods are full and green. Yeah, this whole area, there goes some squirrels jumping around. And 
And I see this one species of fern. I can't believe it's still green. I don't know what species this is, if you know. Feel free to leave it in the comments. But yeah, we got this big enclosed area here, and I don't know what this was for. There's even uh, some concrete here on how that's the concrete to support that pipe. The uh, pipe uh, hangers. Yeah. All the pipe hangers run this way. And of course, we got a TV. As always, it looks like they chopped this pipe hanger off for some weird reason. I don't know why they didn't take the rest of them. Some guy's looking at me here. I guess he's wondering what the frick am I doing? <laughs> I'm just doing a video. What the hell? Leave me alone. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's not posted. There's no posted signs. All right. Let's see what else we can find. Catch you later. I didn't think these guys would be working today, but they are on Thanksgiving, so I guess they're making some good bucks today. I see off in the distance a loader operating. Let me see if I can zoom in on that better. Where is he? You have some kind of a chute there. I don't know, is that for waste rock? You see, it looks like it comes down and lands there on a pile. That loader is right up there somewhere, if this camera would focus. Where is he? I don't see him right now. Yeah, he is up in there working. I think that's him right there. Yeah, that's the loader right there. Found him. Yeah, so they're working today. <laughs> well, good for you. You're making good money. Me, I'm just out shooting videos. And then if you look way over, way over here, I'll zoom in on it. It's where they're dumping all the fly ash from, I guess, the uh, cogen plants that are here. Yeah, that's all like fly ash. What they do is they fill the strippings in with it and rebury it. <laughs> God only knows what kind of a love, lovely remains that's going to be like in the future. I have to pollute water and everything else. Who knows? I don't know. But, uh, all right. Let's see what else we can find. Yeah, I'm right alongside Route 54. You can see the sign there. City and uh, hometown. So three miles, basically three miles west of Mahoney City. But I wanted to show. I always wanted to videotape this. This is really cool. All the rock that they pulled out of the earth from you know open pit mining. But you can see all the crystals, quartz crystal on the rocks. I mean, it formed in thin bands. And you can see it there. That's all silica quartz as we call it. Let's see all these massive rocks that were dug from the earth. A lot of traffic today, I'm surprised. I'm not sure if I'll find any fossils. It, it would be nice, but... Yeah, I just can't believe all the traffic today. Wow. We're really going to and fro. Real windy here too. Ooh. I said my hands are freezing. I should have gloves on. Yeah, here's more of that quartz crystal. Not very good quality. You can see how it formed in the seams of the rock. See? All thin layers, thin layers of crystal. There's a pretty thick, thick vein of it. But I don't see any fossils. I see beer cans and bottles, but no fossils. <laughs> so. 
Well, I guess that'll about do it for today, YouTube. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along. Please subscribe. Please share. And I'll see you all again later. Bye-bye. Unbelievable. I just got back in the car. <clears throat> and to my amazement, there was a freaking tick on me. And uh, if you look at the temperature, it's only like 39 degrees outside today. And yeah, the tick was right on my my uh, sweats. I said I just pull I just pulled them off. I thought it was one of those stickers cuz I had a few stickers that were stuck to me that I pulled off of me. And a freaking tick is on me. So honest to God, I'm so thankful I found them and got them off of me. I tried crushing it and then I threw it out the window. But yeah, it just goes to show you <laughs> the little bit of woods you go into and there's always that danger of picking up ticks. Damn, I hate those things. I don't think I've ever been bitten by a tick. But uh, you gotta be careful, they carry a Lyme disease and that could mess you up for the rest of your life. Which is not a good thing. So, and we're just leaving uh, Shen Sh uh, is this Shenandoah. Shenandoah. Going back up the hill and towards home. So, yeah. I just wanted to add that little bit about the tick. Like I said, for the temperature out there, I didn't think that they'd still be around, but they are. <laughs> wow. That surprised me. Okay, take care later.